when you take over the worst team in the NCAA. You don't expect that by your third season, you're being a national champion. You put your head down, you go to work, try to win every single game. You recruit, 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 and you execute to the best of your ability. Sometimes your ability is exceptional and it defies the norm. In those situations, you might find yourself in this position. Season three, the UAB Blazers. We were a 60 overall when I took over this team. Third season. We're 13 and 0. We're ranked number two in the nation. We're about to make our first appearance in a national championship game versus Alabama Crimson Tide. Now, regardless to what you do as a coach, you don't make it to this point without some exceptional performances by some of your players. For some of these guys, this will be the last collegiate game they'll ever play. Others are just beginning. Let's spotlight some of these cats. We all know senior Anthony Hancock transferred from UTEP after being the backup over there, man. 3,500 yards, 28 touchdowns, only eight interceptions. Came back, got another 1,000 yards rushing, 26 rushing touchdowns. Over 50 touchdowns. Heisman winner, Maxwell winner, the beast, the man. We all know that. But we had some other people step up that we really didn't expect. Red shirt freshman. Eric Bailey, 824 yards, averaging 6.6 .6 yards per carry, nine touchdowns, had an 81-yard touchdown run this season. Did not start off the season as the starter. I have four receivers who I really relied upon and who all came through for me. The ring leader, though, Reggie Bentley, sophomore, 851 yards, Five TDs, had 53 catches, and then we go to the defensive side of the ball. Lamar Patrick, who was absolutely huge for us, man. He played every defensive back position other than strong safety this year, man. He played both outside corner spots. He played the nickel, the dime, and then we moved him to free, and he really just took off from there. Led the team in tackles, 51 tackles, man. Nine interceptions, which is dope. But even doper is the 254 interception return yards. Other honorable mentions, Mike Johnson, my strong safety, had 39 tackles, a sack, one pick, one deflection, one forced fumble, one fumble recovery. You're talking about being all over the place. These guys were the keys to the season, but they're going to have to step up bigger than they ever have in this game versus Alabama. This is the battle for Alabama, baby. Let's go. Now I was dreaming about a deal at the age of 13. I was feeding for the meals, I ain't talking Burger King. Some of my niggas in the veil, all they did was surfing. Fuck scales, I had skills all day rehearsing. The pretty boys had them girls spent their time flirting. All they wanted was some waves like they fucking surfing. Hold up now, don't get it twisted, I ain't hating, do your thing. I was like a young Simba, couldn't wait to be the king. Now a nigga is the prince. Hopped over the fence where the grass wait greener. Look at Shawty ass, wait meaner. Something like Serena mixed with Trina, have you seen her? She fine enough to be Miss Howard, word to Adina. My money like a senior, watch it graduate. Now it's time to eat, I'm letting all my niggas grab a plate. Grab a take the real shit, stay away from phonies. These niggas heard about me, now they acting like they know me. Keep on saying, where you going, nigga? Shit, it ain't no telling. Huh. Yeah. Hey, where you going, nigga? Hey, it ain't no telling. Yeah. They keep on saying, where you going, nigga? Going, nigga. It ain't no telling, yeah, can't tell you where I'm going, no I won't stop, goodbye to the bottom, hello to the top. Alright baby, here we go, we're kicking off first, so that we can get the ball at halftime, let's get it. Woo, man, alright man, we're playing in the rain, this is the BCS National Championship, bro, versus Alabama. I'm excited. I'm amped up. Ha! Lamar Patrick. Open the game up. Five wide right here. Mm. And look who it is, man. If you follow the live stream on Twitch, you'll know that Dalen Charlotte plays on my Kansas team because those rosters are newer 
the knees rises. He transferred in real life from Alabama to Kansas. But with this one, because I started it before those rosters came out, he's still on Alabama. He opens up in the national championship and gets the first catch against us. And that is, what a coincidence. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> Man, I just, you know. All right, baby, good D right there. Make him throw it away. They say life is but a dream. I'ma need a fat car. Bad bro, bad bitch, bad boy. I'm a fucking rap star. Hey, where you? Mm. <sighs> For whatever reason, I didn't. Come on, come on, Johnson. I was to say he's not gonna make that. He needs some help. Look at Patrick with the stare now. <laughs> Saying, Patrick, you staring him down, baby. I need you to make some plays. Let's go. Oh, let's go. Nick Smith with the, oh. Let's get it, baby. That's how we do it. We got super aggressive cats on defense. They try to go back to Charlotte. Nick Smith undercuts it and picks it off. Uh-oh. My boys came to play. That's what I wanted to see. Let's go. All right, man, Heisman winner, Anthony Hancock, faced with his first third down. Let's see what he can do. Got Mary. Mary makes the catch, let's go. All right, changing up the play on him. Reggie Bentley, man, we hear the ball today. Oh, we got RB, come on, baby. Oh! Come on, man, we got a score right here. This will be huge. Come on, Hancock. Show them you can play against the best. Mmm. Take off. Get out of bounds. We don't try to get too much. We ain't trying to take no crazy hits, man. All right, we got another third down. I'm going to come out in the counter, but I'm going to get the hell out of it because they're blitzing their safeties, which is great for me. Come on, Stokes. Come on, Stokes. Let's go. Get your... That's the freshman, man. I'm telling y'all. He prime time. He ready. All right, man. If we can open this up with two stops, I like our chances. Hand it off. Come on, Pat. Ah! Damn it. Come on, Pat. Hey, Pat be looking like he be face masking like one. Rump. No, it's not a rump. Damn it. All right, baby. They were driving on us the first time, actually, but we can get another interception, just like we did last time. Come on outside. It stays in. We might actually be able to do this. Nah, that's it right there. Damn it. All right, man, so Alabama ties it up, 7-7. Seven, and seven. Right, we're gonna get the ball back. Let's see what kind of return we can get from Bentley. Ooh! I thought he was going to dive in my feet. <laughs> I tried to time it. It didn't work out. Great return, though. Let's go. Hancock's going to keep it. All right, man. Nice little nine-yard run. Let's get it. And even though Hancock won the Heisman, he still got a lot of doubters out there, man. So he know he's going to make it to the league, but this game can directly influence where he goes in the draft. So he definitely needs to play well here. Because he's small, he still doesn't have the strongest arm. He's known as more of a running quarterback, you know. Nice, man. All right, man, third down and eight. Let's go. God damn it. Merrick didn't get open at all. Hancock threw the ball crazy. I'm actually glad he did because that might have been an interception. We got a 42-yard field goal. Go ahead and knock this down. It's always good to have a beast kicker on deck. All right, man, so unable to uh, get the touchdown right there. So we're gonna definitely need to get another stop. I look like a run to me. Great penetration, bro, because if he would have got to the outside, we was in trouble. We just playing with so much heart, man. We playing with so much heart, bro. I love it, man, 13. Let's go, baby! <laughs> Coming off the edge, baby. Who that is? Andre Robinson. Let's get it. Neither. Oh! 
Ah, stay in bound. God damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to fake this dude out. He just... Anyway, Mike Johnson, my strong safety who I just spotlighted before the game, man, comes over, gets the pick. Let's go. And we really got Alabama out of rhythm. I love how we showed up to play, and it seemed like they're the ones that shell shot. I mean, we feel like we got nothing to lose, and we don't. <laughs> Nobody expect us to win this anyway. Let's go. <sighs> All right. Clock ticking. We got plenty of time. No worries. Mmm. Fuck, man. All right, man. So Hancock throws an interception right there. Not what we wanted, but, you know. That last play is what you call too much bait. All right, cool. We're going to run it again. Damn, they ran to the other side, though. Calvin Ridley with another grab. Damn it, man. Rob Galloway gets loose in the end zone. They hit him. That's a TD. All right, man. So we're going to halftime 14-10. And we do get the ball, though. So let's get it. Come on. That damn Eric Bailey. Hey! <laughs> That's my dude right there, bro. Look at that run, man. He, he run like Arian Foster. You know what I'm saying? That's what he remind me of, bro. I mean, he just find these little creases, and then, like, he don't just run through the hole and get the eight yards. Nah. He still got to move for you. He still got to move for you. Then he got some speed for you. Let's go. He doing that against the best defense in the land. Oh, Bentley went out, man. He's gone for four weeks, so he's done for the season. My number one receiver, that's that's not good. Let's go! Immediately, Sean Wright says, I got you, bro. Calm down. A beautiful pass by Anthony Hancock, man. Rolling to the right makes a very difficult throw, as he oftentimes does. And we make the play, let's get it. I have no idea how we snuck into the end zone right there. The end actually played it right, <laughs> but he thought we gave it off, man. We ran right past him. I need y'all to make a play for him. This, oh, what? Huh? Like Patrick just misjudged it, man. We went for the interception. I thought we had it and would be running into the end zone right now, but unable to make that play. I'm sorry, Pat. Shake back. I like the aggressiveness. <laughs> Defensively, we went phenomenal uh, against the run, which is great, which I think is kind of hurting Alabama a bit, but that's a big part of their offense. But they like, nah, we just go to Calvin Ridley. We'll go to Charlotte. It's easy work, man. First and 10. Let's go. Big low. I want to pitch that so bad. I wanted to pitch it, y'all. I swear I did. Our number one guy goes out. They start blitzing immediately. Smart. We go to Wheeler again across the middle. At third down and two. Let's go back. We keep it. Pick it up. Mary catching the pass across the middle. Let's go. They stop us again, bro. Gotta take the field goal. We gotta take the points, man. Defense is playing well. Let's hope they can keep it up. Let's go. All right, man. Starting the fourth quarter, it is UAB 20, Alabama 14. Very close game, very entertaining game. No, 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 no. When you can just see that shit from, you can see it from the time he handed off and all your guys fall down on the ground. It's like, if you miss one, that one tackle, it's a wrap. 
I really, really wish that. Let's go, nice. Run the option, Hancock decides to keep it. Let's go. Oh! <laughs> Let's go, man. Anthony Hancock making a superhero plays. <laughs> Bruh, look at this. <laughs> that's, that's just backyard, man. This is true backyard football right here. In the rain, in the mud. I mean, he knows he's gonna take, I mean, Look at the hit he knows he's about to take. Doesn't care. Makes the throw, takes the nasty hit, but completes it. And we pick up a nice game because of it, man. Damn, dog. They kill us in the red zone, bro. They have the entire game. And if we end up not winning this game, that's gonna be the reason why. That's gonna be the reason why, man. Pit! <sighs> Mary, I appreciate the fact that it's good coverage, my dude, but you ain't a freshman no more. It's fucking last game of the season, man. You gotta pick that. Come on, Merrick. Okay, I'll take it. He came down. He and we heard him. Let's go. Held him long enough for us to get him some help, man. Four for one, y'all. Let's go. Four for one. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Let's get it. All right, baby. Let's see if we can if we can do some damage to this clock right here. Let's go. I mean, somebody gotta somebody gotta just touch him, though. This could be it if we pick this up, y'all. Let's go. The freshman Stokes, man. That's why I never gave up on this dude, bro. That's a big catch. I mean, this is huge, man. Game on the line, in the rain. Gets jammed up, doesn't give up on the play, and he actually destroys him, though. Once he finally gets off this jam, he take that one hard step outside and then bam, he's inside of him. And then at that point, it ain't number for Hancock to come back to him. Beautiful place pass. Just everything about this perfect. He tries to make the play, man. He fights, gets it, fall forward, make sure he gets the first. Like that's that's just perfect. Alright, third down and four. I like the counter play. Let's go, baby. Eric Bailey picking it up, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. That's the game, man. All we gotta do is take a knee. We get the hell up out of here. So UAB gets their first ever national championship, and we did it versus in-state, not even, it's a rival now, I guess. In-state rival Alabama, man. It was a great game, 23-21. We fought back and forth. They had some big plays. We had some big plays. My guys showed up, man, showed a lot of heart, a lot of character, and we just really fought this entire game because it was starting to get a little bit ugly. So here we go. We opened up 7-0 in the first quarter, opened up beautifully. Second quarter, they make a push as we knew that they would, 14-3. But we come back in the third, and we 10 zip them cats, man. And it should have been uglier than that, but we ended up kicking so many field goals well, we could have been scoring touchdowns, but that defense did a great job. And they really locked us down once we got in the red zone. Uh, fourth quarter, 7-3. They weren't quite able to make enough plays on defense to stop us and get the ball back. And we national champions, baby. All right, man. So taking a look at Anthony Hancock's day. Didn't have the greatest game. 215 yards, one passing touchdown, one interception. Eric Bailey, man. 14 attempts, 83 yards, 5.9 yards per carry. Didn't happen to score in this game, but that's no big deal. He played a phenomenal, like a huge role, a huge role in this game, man. But back to Hancock, who had 72 yards rushing as well, and he had a touchdown. So he still did his thing 
that he always does. Reggie Bentley went down with an injury early in the game, man, after having a great start to the game. Um, he wasn't able to finish it with us, but three catches, 48 yards, three catches for Mary, three catches for Stokes. And these were, he played the biggest out of all the receivers because that last catch he made, really, that last catch, like that won the game. Had he not made that play, we would have ended up having to punt him back to them. And who the hell knows what would have happened. But because of him, the true freshman, holding on to that ball, we was able to kill the clock and get out of here with the victory, man. Lamar Patrick, man, this dude is the heart and soul of the team. All over the field making plays, and he still led the team in tackle. Andre Robinson picked up a sack. And Mike Johnson, Nick Smith, and Vic Lowe all had interceptions. My DBs came to play. I got to shout out my kicker, man, Lawrence McClain. I'm super happy he'll be back next year, 100%. All right, man, and from here, we continue to move, okay? Anthony Hancock will be going into the league. UAB will be switching conferences next season since we did win our conference this year and won much more than that. I'm thinking about going to the SEC. Y'all let me know what you think about that move as we add this bow to the trophy case. And yes, Anthony Hancock will be moving over to Mad Men. He's such a beloved character. Of course, I'm not just gonna get rid of him and end his story right here. He will be crossing over into Madden. I haven't decided whether I'll incorporate him into the Bears franchise or if I do his own separate, or if I'm gonna do his own separate player franchise where I just take Hancock as a player and play only as him throughout his NFL career in a completely separate franchise from the Bears. I'm not sure. Y'all let me know what y'all think, what ideas y'all have for it down in the comments. I'll definitely take a look at them and decide, you know, what I think the best thing is for the channel. And I got a lot more things planned for this series, man. This year was all about Anthony Hancock, but next season we got a lot of great characters that I'm going to develop. Uh, Eric Bailey, Adrian Merrick, Lamar Patrick, and our quarterback, Adam Sanders, who some people may have forgotten about, but he's actually, re he actually redshirted this year. I think he'll be a sophomore, a redshirt sophomore next season. And he's really good as well. I got a lot of plans to go ahead and develop those characters with dynamic storylines. And it's gonna be very, very fun. So anyway, man, like this video. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. UAB with the National Championship, son. My name is Flimo Raps, one.